One final example here. Let's draw our grid again. Okay, here we have negative 2. This is, this is an interesting one. So 225, where is that? Okay, now, a couple ways you can look at it. You can say, okay, well, I just like to start, okay, well, 280, right? Or 180, rather, right? And uh, so you kind of figure, okay, it's, you know it's there, and what's left? So we kind of go 225 minus 180, right? And then we go 5, right? 4, 45 degrees. So we know it's going to end up down here, right? I'm just going to put it down here, right? So this is the angle that we end up with, right? Theta equals, uh, the reference angle is 45, right? It's roughly 45. However, what is it? It's negative 2. So where's it going to be? It's going to be out here, right? So this is actually where it's going to end up. So this is actually the point, negative 2, 225, right? Weird, right? But the idea is that with polar coordinates, you follow the angle, if it's negative, you have to go in the opposite direction and find your new angle, okay? So what I would do in this case is for theta, find out what this new angle is, 45, and you know you're up in this quadrant, okay? So let's think about this. So you know that this is 2, okay? So what I would do is I would say, okay, since we have a 45-45 uh, triangle, right? We know that this is 2. This is going to have to be, what, 2 divided by root 2. So I'm going to call this, um, why don't we do this? So we know that the, um, the x point from here to here, right, is going to have to be, um, yeah, let's do it this way. R uh, cosine theta. Let's do it this way, right, R. In this case, this is 2. Cosine theta. What's cosine theta, right? 1, 1 root 2, right? So this is 1 over root 2. We know that this is going to be root 2 over 2, right, if we rationalize the denominator, cross these out, okay? So again, if you don't understand what I just did, um, just review some of your trig stuff um, in terms of finding out what this is. All I did really was just rationalize. Uh, I took a special triangle, right, took the cosine of it based on the ratio of these both being 2 over root 2, right? Right, and then uh, and uh, rationalize that denominator, giving us two root two root over uh, two uh, ends up becoming, um, yeah, root two. So basically, this comes out to root two. <laughs> okay, so why? Right, there are a number of ways you can calculate, but again, if you're if you're confused, just go back to the trig lessons. Okay, next one is r sine theta. Right, so two times sine theta. Sine theta, same thing. Right, okay. Now, uh, again, it's, but they're both positive, so we're in good shape. 2 root 2 over 2, right, equals root 2. Okay, our rectangular coordinate becomes root 2, root 2. This is our x, this is our y. Okay, so make use of what you know about special triangles, trig, Sokotoa, and whatnot, but the main thing is with the polar coordinate, when you went all the way around, right, and found this point, which was uh, 225, right, and then you went backwards to okay, because it's a polar coordinate. And there you were, and you had a nice little 45-45 uh, triangle in quadrant one. What could be easier, okay? So anyway, um, so that's uh, how you uh, convert back and forth between polar and rectangular coordinates. Um, thank you very much for using educator.com.